So I found some grey camphor card. I've got my cup of tea and I'm going to work into the card using a black fine liner pen and a white gel pen to try out the scribble drawing technique. So let's see how we get on. Well, actually, I really enjoyed using these two together. It's a really intense way of drawing because apart from when you switch over the pens, the hand very rarely leaves the page. You're in constant movement, creating this continuous line. Now, because of this, two things happened. One, my cup of tea went cold, so I didn't get to drink it. But two, it made me, instead of just glance in the mirror, it made me really look and really focus. Keeping that intensity going and the rhythm within the mark making means you end up losing yourself within the process and your mind ends up becoming more intuitive and you make quicker subconscious decisions. If for the first drawing I used the analogy of a bee in flight, I found that as this one developed further and further and became more complex, you could liken it more to a whole swarm of bees all working together to get it into the position that you want. It ended up being quite a complex mesh in the end and black and white lines weaving in and out of each other. And I feel this drawing's ended up more realistic than the previous drawing. Although having said that, maybe it's gone a little bit too tight all the way towards the edges. And it could be even more effective if it was just tighter in the focal point, the eyes, and then becomes a lot looser and more expressive towards the edges. On the whole though, I'd highly recommend using the black and white on gray. It's great for the scribble technique, and I highly recommend you do it yourself. But as well as doing it the way I've done it, Try different sorts of methods. There might be different sorts of media and techniques that you feel are more appropriate and more effective for you. Enjoy your artwork and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.